Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be sharing with you CMS proposed rule for physician fee schedule for calendar year 2023. Since the content of the proposed rule is quite lengthy, I have decided to break it down into two videos. So today I will be going over part one and please stay tuned for part two, which I will be releasing next. Let's get started. On July 7, 2022, the Centers for Medicaid and Medicaid Services, or CMS, issued a proposed rule that announces and solicits public comments on proposed policy changes for Medicare payments under the Physician Fee Schedule, or PFS, and other Medicare Part B issues effective on or after January 1, 2023. The calendar year 2023 Physician Fee Schedule proposed rule is one of several proposed rules that reflect a broader administration-wide strategy to create a more equitable healthcare system that results in better accessibility, quality, affordability, and innovation. Background on the Physician Fee Schedule since 1992, Medicare payment has been made under the Physician Fee Schedule for the services of physicians and other billing professionals. Physician services paid under the Physician Fee Schedule are furnished in a variety of settings including physician offices, hospitals, ambulatory surgical centers, skilled nursing facilities, and other post-acute care settings, hospices, outpatient dialysis facilities, clinical laboratories, and, and beneficiaries' homes. Payment is also made to several types of suppliers for technical services, most often in settings for which no institutional payment is made. For most services furnished in a physician's office, Medicare makes payment to physicians and other professionals at a single rate based on the full range of resources involved in furnishing the service. In contrast, physician fee schedule rates paid to physicians and other billing practitioners in facility settings such as a hospital, outpatient department, or an ambulatory surgical center reflect only the portion of the resources typically incurred by the practitioner in the course of furnishing the service. For many diagnostic tests and a limited number of other services under the physician fee schedule, separate payment may be made for the professional and technical components of services. The technical component is frequently billed by suppliers like independent diagnostic testing facilities and radiation treatment centers, while the professional component is billed by the physician or practitioner. Payments are based on the relative resources typically used to furnish the service. Relative value units or RVUs are applied to each service for work, practice expense, and malpractice expense. These RVUs become payment rates through the application of a conversion factor. Geographic adjusters, geographic practice cost index are also applied to the total RVUs to account for variation in practice cost by ge geographic area. Payment rates are calculated to include an overall payment update specified by statute. Calendar Year 2023 Physician Fee Schedule Rate Setting and Conversion Factor CMS is proposing a series of standard technical proposals involving practice expense including the implementation of the second year of the Clinical Labor Pricing Update. CMS has also included a common solicitation seeking public input as they develop a more consistent, predictable approach to incorporating new data in setting physician fee schedule rates. CMS hopes to implement changes that will promote transparency and predictability in payment amounts. Per statutory requirements, CMS is also updating the data that they use to develop the geographic practice cost indices or GPCIs and malpractice RVUs. With the budget neutrality adjustments as required by law to ensure payment rates for individual services don't result in changes to estimated Medicare spending that require statutory update to the conversion factor for calendar year 2023 of 0% and the expiration of the 3% increase in physician fee schedule payments for calendar year 2022, the proposed calendar year 2023 physician fee schedule conversion factor is $33.08 
which is a decrease of $1.53 to the calendar year 2022 physician fee schedule conversion factor of $34.61. Updated Medicare Economic Index or MEI for calendar year 2023. CMS is proposing to rebase and revise the MEI cost share weights for calendar year 2023. CMS is soliciting comments regarding the rebasing and revision of the MEI, which measures the input price pressures of providing physician services. CMS is proposing a new methodology for estimating base year expenses that relies on publicly available data from the U.S. Census Bureau, NAICS, 6211 Offices of Physicians. This proposed methodology allows for the use of data that are more reflective of current me market conditions of physician ownership practices rather than only reflecting costs for self-employed physicians and will allow for the MEI to be updated on a more regular basis. Using the new MEI cost ways to set Physician fee schedule rates would not change overall spending on PFS services but would likely result in significant changes to payments among PFS services. In consideration of CMS's ongoing efforts to update to the PFS payment rates with more predictability and transparency and in the interest in ensuring payment stability, CMS is proposing not to use the proposed updated MEI cost share rates to set PFS payment rates for calendar year 2023. However, CMS is soliciting comments on the potential use of the proposed updated MEI cost share rates to calibrate payment rates and update the GPCI under the PFS in the future. Comment solicitation on global surgical services. CMS is soliciting public comment on strategies for improving global surgical package valuation and paying more accurately for the global surgical packages under the physician fee schedule. Evaluation and management or E slash M visits. As part of the ongoing updates to evaluation and management visits and related coding guidelines that are intended to reduce administrative burden, the AMA CPT editorial panel approved revised coding and updated guidelines for other evaluation and management visits effective January 1, 2023. Similar to the approach CMS finalized in the calendar year 2021 physician fee schedule final rule for office slash outpatient evaluation and management visit coding and documentation CMS is proposing to adopt most of these changes in coding and documentation for other evaluation and management visits which include hospital inpatient, hospital observation, emergency department, nursing facility, home or residence services and cognitive impairment assessment effective January 1st, 2023. This revised coding and documentation framework would include CPT code definition changes, revision to the other evaluation and management code descriptors, including new descriptor times where relevant, revised interpretive guidelines for levels of medical decision making, choice of medical decision making or time to select code level, except for a few families like emergency department visits and cognitive impairment assessment, which are not time services. Eliminated use of history and exam to determine code level. Instead, there would be a requirement for a medically appropriate history and exam. CMS is proposing to maintain the current billing policies that apply to the evaluation and management visits, while CMS considers potential revisions that might be necessary in future rulemaking. CMS is also proposing to create Medicare-specific coding for payment of other evaluation and management prolonged services similar to what CMS adopted in calendar year 2021 for payment of office slash outpatient prolonged services. Split or shared evaluation and management visits. For calendar year 2023, CMS is proposing to delay the split or shared visits policy they finalized in calendar year 2022 for the definition of substantive portion as more than half of the total time for one year with a few exceptions. Therefore, for calendar year 2023, as in calendar year 2022, the substantive portion of a visit may be met by any of the following elements. History, performing a physical exam, 
making a medical decision, spending time more than half of the total time spent by the practitioner who bills the visit. Under their proposal, clinicians who furnish split or shared visits will continue to have a choice of history, physical exam, or medical decision making or more than half of the total practitioner time spent to define the substantive portion instead of using total time to determine the substantive portion until calendar year 2024. Telehealth services for calendar year 2023 CMS is proposing a number of policies related to Medicare telehealth services, including making several services that are temporarily available as telehealth services for the public health emergency available through calendar year 2023 on a Category 3 basis, which will allow more time for collection of data that could support their eventual inclusion as permanent additions to the Medicare telehealth services list. CMS is proposing to extend the duration of time that services are temporarily included on the telehealth services list during the public health emergency, but are not included on a category one, two or three basis for a period of 151 days following the end of the public health emergency in alignment with the Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2022. CMS is proposing to implement the telehealth provisions in the Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2022 via program instruction or other sub-regulatory gui guidance to ensure a smooth transition after the end of the public health emergency. These policies extend certain flexibilities in place during the public health emergency for 151 days after the public health emergency ends, such as allowing telehealth services to be furnished in any geographic area and in any originating site setting, including the beneficiary's home, allowing certain services to be furnished via audio-only telecommunication systems and allowing physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech-language pathologists and audiologists to furnish telehealth services. The Consolidated Appropriations Act of 2022 also delays the in-person visit requirements for mental health services furnished via telehealth until 152 days after the end of the public health emergency. CMS is proposing that telehealth claims will require the appropriate place of service or POS indicator to be included on the claim rather than modifier 95 after a period of 151 days following the end of the public health emergency and that modifier 93 will be available to indicate that a Medicare telehealth service was furnished via audio only technology where appropriate. Request for information Medicare potentially underutilized services. In this rule, CMS seeks to engage with interested parties and stakeholders and solicit comment regarding ways to identify and improve access to high value, potentially underutilized services by Medicare beneficiaries. Behavioral Health Services In the 2022 CMS Behavioral Health Strategy, CMS included a goal to improve access to and quality of mental health care services and included an objective to increase detection, effective management, and slash or recovery of mental health conditions through coordination and integration between primary and specialty care providers. In calendar year 2017 and 2018, physician fee schedule rulemaking, CMS received comments that initiating, initiating visit services for behavioral health integration or BHI should include in-depth psychological evaluations delivered by a clinical psychologist and that CMS should consider allowing professionals who were not eligible to report the approved initiating visit codes to Medicare to serve as a primary hub for BHI services. Considering the increased needs for mental health services and feedback CMS has received, CMS is proposing to create a new general BHI service personally performed by clinical psychologists or clinical social workers to account for monthly care integration where the mental health services furnished by a clinical psychologist or clinical social workers are serving as the focal point of care integration. CMS is also proposing to allow a psychiatric diagnostic evaluation to serve as the initiating visit for the new general BHI service. 
Additionally, in the 2022 CMS Behavioral Health Strategy, CMS set a goal to improve access to and quality of mental health care services. In light of the current needs among Medicare beneficiaries for improved access to behavioral health services, CMS has considered regulatory revisions that may help to reduce existing barriers and make greater use of the services of behavioral health professionals such as licensed professional counselors or LPCs and licensed marriage and family therapists or LMFTs. Therefore, CMS is proposing to make an exception to the direct supervision requirement under their Incident 2 regulation at Title 42 Code of Federal Regulation 410.26 to allow behavioral health services provided under the general supervision of a physician or NPP rather than under direct supervision when these services or supplies are provided by auxiliary personnel incident to the services of a physician or non-physician practitioner. CMS believes that this proposed change will facilitate utilization and extend the reach of behavioral health services. This is it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you found this information useful, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave me a few comments. Hope to see you next time. Bye now.